Hi everyone, this is Rick. In this video, I built an ozone box to help kill mold and to remove musty smell from my comic books. I've done something like this professionally before with uh, tanks of oxygen, with a tank of oxygen and a uh, chrono spark generator, and it worked pretty well depending on how uh, on the mold, uh, how well the, the spores of the bodies of the dead mold will adhere to the paper because you usually get them off. In this particular case, that these books really smelled very musty, but what I thought was mold ended up just being ink. Um, what I did learn was that a homemade uh, ozone box will definitely remove musty smell pretty well in just a few hours, and it does not harm the books at all. So I at least learned something, and I will build either a different one in the future using an oxygen tank, or maybe I'll make my own oxygen chemically, and I'll also try to get some mold off of some books, and we'll see how things go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Uh, take care and bye-bye. Hello everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I'm your comic book scientist and today I am working on my version 2.0 of my mold killing chamber. I'm doing it outside because I don't want the, uh, the stuff I use to kill the mold, which is ozone, to tear up my lungs. I'll give you a little tour here. So unfortunately my neighbors decided to turn on their music right when I started, but I may just narrate this later. So. I have a small aquarium air pump, and if necessary, I might have to take the inlet to this pump and hook it up to some oxygen so that we can uh, use the oxygen as an inlet. Then we have the Poseidon 200 ozone generator. We have that connected to a, a box right here. And inside the box, I'm gonna put, eventually I'm gonna put this, one of these small uh, elevated racks inside. And then we have a diffusion funnel coming out the back side. We don't want it coming straight. We want a little bit of resistance. We don't want it to come straight out. We want it to go a lot of different ways so it's not too concentrated so that we don't breathe it. And then what I'm going to do here is load some comic books that have some mold on them in here. They're all musty. But um, what I'm going to do is see if I can get a lot of the must out of them. The smell. So I'll just have to report. You have to trust me on the smell. But the thing I want to get out the most is the the black mold that's on this particular book on the inside. Let's see if I can remove some of this material. So I'm going to take some of these long Q-tips to keep the pages separated and I'm going to put it between the pages here. And then I'm just going to lay these down and it keeps the, lets the gas come through. And I'll leave it on, it might take a couple days actually. I'm gonna leave it on for a few hours and come back just to check on the smell and then we'll see how much of this we can get away. I'll take a quick picture of how much mold there is. And we'll see if we can get any of it off of here. It'll definitely kill it. The problem is getting its its body off of there when you're done is the trick. So, all right, ozone, do your thing. And just, just, and just so you know, I have two of these uh, long Q-tips between every page and between every book. I put them in my chamber here. And I'm gonna turn on my ozone generator. So this is working. I turn this thing on to full blast here. I have to plug in my, oh, oops, I forgot to plug in my ozone generator, it might help. And then there we go. It's on full, which I think is 240 milligrams a minute ozone from air and of course we'll, we'll connect this to oxygen later we'll generate some oxygen with bleach and peroxide later if this doesn't work but this chamber is now filling with ozone and I don't feel any positive pressure here yet but um, I'm sure that in an hour or so this will be full of ozone and we'll come back and check it out so we'll check it out and see how it goes wow this thing definitely smells very ozone-y in here and uh, I don't know that this is mold actually. This may be ink off, I think it is actually ink off this other page, but man, it smells better. You wouldn't believe how it smells. Interesting. Very interesting, very fresh. Man, it smells like laundry or something. It's really good, it smells very nice. Um, it's been an hour. We'll keep it a long while. I think I was mistaken. I thought those mold is actually ink. Um, but they all smell, definitely smell better. Um, oh, yeah, really. They smell quite good, actually. And then I'm going to um, 
I'll let them go for another hour, maybe even overnight, and then see how they smell. So I ended up leaving the books on overnight, about uh, seven hours, and they didn't have any more improvement over that. They did smell great. Uh, I let them uh, sit over there. I took them out, smelled them, and they used to smell really musty, and they smelled actually kind of pleasant. Uh, I'll see if the smell comes back in a day or two. And I'll report I'm also looking for some moldy books, so i got to hunt some of those down. They're hard to find because people don't generally advertise it. Uh, but once I get some, I'll do the test, and then I'll see if I can get the mold spore carcasses out of the book, see if we can improve it. I think I can. I've had some success in the past, so we'll see how we do. Take care. Bye-bye.